It's Brain Lock with Dr. Tom and Guitar Picks with Tim Beeman. Uh, Queen's right. The Needle Lies. The Needle Lies is off the Operation uh, Operation Mindcrime album. It's a concept album uh, about a revolution. Uh, people don't like the way the government's being run. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a uh, guy whose name is Nicky that they brainwash him and give him commands and whenever the phone rings and he answers it they say mind crime he goes out and kills somebody oh. uh, not that I condone that kind of <laughs> violence but the thing about this song Queensryche really brings out a lot of my uh, time signature explorations I, I, don't, I don't think you should always have to be 4-4 four, four time uh -huh. in rock you can do other things uh, there's not really a lot of time signature changes in this song but it's some things, the way, I guess the patterns that they're played makes it sound as if it is, and it just makes for a cool part. There's a part. Uh, when you hear that with the drums that's going on and the rest of the song, everything playing, it just adds a whole new dimension. And the song, The Needle Lies, is called The Needle Lies because the way they brainwash him is they give him this truth serum mm -hmm. or actually I guess it's a anti-truth serum because it makes him go out and kill people that uh, he wouldn't ordinarily do yeah uh, but you know they're telling you, you know, the needle lies you just need to leave the drug they're giving you alone really but it's just it's another one of those songs that makes me want to play well but, now if, if you look at the the seven four time I mean could you also look at it as a a set of a 4-4 four, four and 3-4. Four. You could, uh, if you wanted to, but to me, if you if you start thinking in capacities like that, then you have to start keeping up where you are. Yeah. I think it's easier to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, than 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, <laughs> one, where was I? Because uh, there are some songs out there that I've, I've learned uh, and listened to. It took me a minute, but they they are actually considered uh, four four three four 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 three four, and uh, to me it's just when I'm on stage, I want the least confusing that I can do because, as I said, you know Gene Simmons is my idol. I'm I'm when I'm on stage, I'm fifty percent music, fifty percent show, uh -huh. and as much as I can put to that show without taking away from the music, uh -huh. always helps. So if oh, okay. I can do stuff that's more simple in my head, <laughs> that still sounds cool, mm -hmm. I will. I will definitely work that in. Okay, it's Brain Loss with Dr. Tom, Guitar Picks with Tim Beeman, Queen's Right, The Thin Line. The Thin Line, I just think, was an interesting song because they wrote it in the studio. When they, uh, they went to record the Empire album, they got in the studio and started playing around and actually wrote it in the studio. It has, uh, not necessarily, it's, it's still in 4-4 time, but there's a lot of syncopated uh, parts, and I can't play any of it right now. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's just, uh, you know, things, this guy walks a thin line for this girl, you know, he does it just for her, you know, whatever she wants, anything she says to do, he'll do it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just another one of those songs that make me want to play. Mm -hmm. And to me, it's just a powerful song. If I'm listening to it, uh, if I'm driving, I'm beating the crap out of my steering wheel just because, <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just that good of a song. And Jeff Tate is an amazing vocalist. He's my favorite mm -hmm. rock vocalist, so... And I played some of his stuff before in another band and had to sing, which wasn't necessarily a nightmare, but it was more like a bad dream. <laughs> and having to play underneath it was a difficult time, but I got through it and I enjoyed it. And it's still, Queen's Right just is one of those bands that make me want to play. I'm a collector of sheet music uh -huh. uh, just because I'm perfectly happy with sitting down and reading what I'm listening to. Right. Uh, and I used to get guitar player or guitar for the practicing musician or something, whatever it was called. Yeah. And they always had tabs in there. And there was this band with this name. I was like, what in the world? Queens Rick? Qu what? <laughs> and I finally figured out what it was. And I had seen a video a couple of years earlier of uh, Gonna Get Close to You. Uh, and it was just like freaking me out. I couldn't figure out what it was about. It was more electronic music mm -hmm. but later I had the, the tab book that had uh, I don't believe in love mm -hmm. and that was on the Operation Mind Crime album and I was at a friend's house and they said have you heard this new Queensryche album I'm like uh, 
I'm like, no. And when I heard it, the song just floored me, and yeah. I was captivated. And I went and bought that. Well, I bought Empire first, but I bought that afterwards mm -hmm. after I'd heard it. And uh, to me, anything before uh, Here in the Now Frontier, after Promised Land, was bad. <laughs> Promised Land before was... <laughs> To me, Queensryche was the band's band. Yeah. Now, if you want just party music, no. They're not a party music band, but they are They are the technical band's band to me because they have everything. They have my favorite drummer, Scott Rockenfield. They have my favorite singer, Jeff Tate, and just the guitarist, the way they write, and the way the bass player holds the bottom end. To me, that's just the ultimate band. It's uh, Brainwash with Dr. Tom and Guitar Picked with Tim Beeman of Heaven's Sake, Queensryche, Walk in the Shadows. Walk in the Shadows is another one of those uh, makes me want to play songs just because from the very first thing you hear is just a, and I don't know how what key is it, I've never played it, but mm -hmm. it's just, uh, it's, a, it's a running song from the time it starts. It, it's not... It's not a skipping song. It's not a sitting and listening song. It's a, it's one of those that you want to drive to because it's got a driving beat to it the whole time. Plus, you have Jeff Tate doing his magic. Plus, there's some serious harmonies going on in there, and that's uh, again my vocally that's my my peeve. There's got to be some harmonies. <laughs> uh, I don't think that you have to have them all the time, but mm -hmm. anywhere that you can fit them. They need to be there. So some instruments are, lend themselves to being solo instruments, but the bass, it, again, it's more ensemble. I, I think so. There are some you know, solo stuff you can do, but really, I'm I'm not a guitar or bass or even piano solo kind of guy. Now, I, mm -hmm. uh, some people don't like drum solos. Mm -hmm. If it's something I've not heard before, mm -hmm. or I mean, really nothing you've not heard before, but things that just is different than what you would normally hear than da, 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 da. if I can hear something happen that's great uh -huh. but you can do guitar solos and you can do piano solos and you can do bass solos even but I think bass solos really although they can be a lead instrument and have their place in being a lead instrument mm -hmm. uh, solo wise you don't want that I think bass is more of a noise instrument for that I mean I put some effects on it and just you bend the in the neck some and, and do some crazy things to it but you know I mean, I mean I can do that but who wants to listen to that for five minutes you know I don't want to play it for five minutes so unless there's something else going on that really makes me want to play that but you know as a solo instrument no I, I, I think as a bass player uh, you know again and like I talked before, is the guy that stands over in a corner. It's also the guy you don't want to do a whole lot of stuff extra as far as the instrument itself goes right. if you're watching it because I think it just, I think it takes away from everything else in a band. If, if the bass player is going nuts, it's different than if the guitar player is going nuts or the drummer is going nuts uh -huh. uh, because the whole purpose of the bass in my opinion as a bass player is to hold everything together mm 